So, as an RV traveling family, sometimes holidays can get a little bit different, and sometimes they don't. They're not. So we, um, it is now Halloween here, and with the election that's coming up, we have decided that instead of traveling, we were going to plan on spending it in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and we thought that would be fun considering the season to go out and uh, just kind of relax around the hot springs. But we decided that because Halloween is only three days before. Uh, a major election year, we decided to stay in our home base. Last year, however, as an RV traveling family, you guys know if you haven't, um, watch our video up here and uh, you'll see that we um, were spent it at Zion's National Park. And so we found a, a little uh, town nearby, I think it was like a 15 or 20 minute drive roughly from our campsite, and we drove into there and had the kids trick or treat. This year's a little different, so because we're here and we decided to stay at our home base instead of traveling, uh, just because of the election coming up, we wanted to make sure that we were able to vote, that um, we decided to stay here locally. And so they are, kids are going to go get ready to do that. I think there's a few trunk or treats around in the area from some local churches um, and things that we're going to go and see how that's going to be. That'll be fun. Um, in the meantime, here's some things that you can do because it is a little bit different doing Halloween or having holidays as far as decorating or doing certain things because your space is limited. And when it gets into the colder weather, sometimes the weather's really good. Like today is like the first day that we've had like this beautiful sun out. I'm so thrilled for the to have the sun out because we have had like five or six days of raining, um, really, really cold weather. So on a beautiful day like this, we could have the kids come out and carve pumpkins outside. But what do you do if you don't have a home base like ours and you're not spending Halloween here? One of the things that we did last year was we took one pumpkin and had the kids carve, like we split it into a thirds and had the kids carve their part on each one. That way you only have one pumpkin in the RV because, well, when you have five children, if you had five pumpkins, plus if the kids wanted me and Jeff to do it, then you have seven large pumpkins and there's like no space to put them. So that's what we're going to show you guys how we do that just like we did last year. Again it was be in the video from last year if you caught that um, and show you how to do that. Also you can still decorate even if you're living in an RV with slides moving in and out. I have been able to decorate for the fall season and I put leaves up on top of the slides but I've ensured that they will stay even if I have to pull the slides in and out as we've been doing. That way I can still get my fall decorations in because fall is my favorite season. Hence the reason probably why all of my children were born in the fall and uh, that's why our fourth child is named Autumn. And anyway, so let me show you guys how we do that. has decided to make her homemade uh, spider web with all of her little spiders. There's one for each of us in the family up there. Yeah, and dad's not there because they're black widows and the, they, eat. they eat What'd you decide to carve, Jake? A ghost. You're gonna carve a ghost. I drew it. Are you doing good? Mm -hmm. This is fun? I did the nose with this. What are you doing, Emma? The horse is flat right there. I'm not actually trying to. You've got the headless horseman. What you got? I have 
have two bats that are flying in the air and it says happy Halloween. See, I accidentally made a mistake and I just cut that one out. That was that was not supposed to be there. Like and then I said happy Halloween and I made a mistake. And then look, I did the little haunted house. But it doesn't really look haunted. I Jake, drew. what did you do? A ghost. You did a ghost? Let's mm -hmm. see. I cut off its tail actually. That's okay. He looks awesome. Boo. I drew okay, it Emma. for her. My turn. So this is the headless horseman. I accidentally got the eye here and the head is a little bit wobbly. Ready, stop playing. Ready, 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 ready. All right, are you guys ready to light it? Mine has yeah. a light. I want to show you guys what it looks like. Ready, 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 ready. Ready, 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 ready. Ready, 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 ready. Ready, 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 ready. Ready, Somebody move, Louie! Somebody move, Louie! Let's go mine first. 